Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to 4 Axe. Today we're going to be testing the game again, because I really want to play it, and I want to make sure I actually uh, play through this game, because I do like the concept. So first thing I want to do is I want to check see if any of these bugs that I mentioned first are actually being fixed. So first thing I want to go on is settings, and I'm going to go to audio. See, now this one I had an issue with, and I don't know if it's been fixed yet, so we'll, we'll check. Obviously there's no music on right now, because the beginning part of the music has stopped already, so let's check it on master settings, master volume, see if the sound effects still, we're being on zero, see if it actually fixes it when I apply it. No, which means this bug still is in the game, and it's kind of annoying. So we are going to do a new game, we're going to go through it from the beginning, and we're going to see if we can get past the gas mask area this time. Obviously the last save, if you watched through the last video, there was a issue with stuff just disappearing when I reload into the, to the world that we're on, and obviously unable to continue because of it so right welcome to Vorax again i know the beginning part we're gonna just fly for it as quickly as possible and we're gonna hey he's over there again look at that hey old fella and the situation on the island is rapidly deteriorating. Let me see if they've changed northwest. I'm pretty sure it went northeast last time. They they uh, put it out there. Yeah, they put northeast last time. So this time they've changed it. That has been updated, which is fantastic. It's good to see. Let's pick up some of this scrap and rock and stuff. Right, everything's still working. I know where my torch button is. I know where there is a pistol we can go and grab early. Even though there is one at the house, we're just gonna we're gonna pick up this one over here. And grab it a bit early. Oh, that area is interesting. We might have to go there next time. All right, there's, there is a few, few bad guys up here we need to deal with. We're going to get them dealt with. And then I'll show you where there is a pistol, if you don't know about it. Hey, fellas. Okay, just... That's one. That's two. Go, interesting. I'll take that, and I'll take that. There's another enemy there in front of me. And you have meds on you, so I shall take those. Combat still feels jarring with the uh, axe. Echoes are annoying. Did they? The, is this just placeholder? It's, there is a different bandage. So why can I not store it in there? By like. Alright, it works. Alright, so why can I not store that there? Do we have one of our inventory slots broken already? There's another enemy there. Now let me use a med kit real quick. So yo, you, buddy, are quite close to a. Gun and I want to pick up. There we go. Alright, so in this little shack, there is a hand handgun that you can get, which is kind of nice. So now we have this, we are going to go down and get to the house. And get ready for our first night in the... In the uh, Villa in the manor. So we're here. Let us prep for the first night and then we will discuss our game plan going forward. I need to go get that bigger bag. Let's go do that now. No space for the item. I want to equip it. Impossible to swap, not enough space. Um, bandage, med kit, screws. Oh, I shall drop the wood over here and we'll get rid of all of those. Uh, we shall now swap. That's because I picked up them. Can you stack more than 10? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Give me this. He does have a pistol as well, so you can get another one from here. He will give you one. Well, he will. He won't give you one, but you can get one from his body. So there is that. There should be some pistol bullets lying around. So here's one. I shall take that. I've got a few uh, fluids there. Take that ammo. Got a med pack there. And then we're going to build ourselves a door barricade. Insufficient items. We need, need seven wood, six nails. Alright, so I'll grab my nails out of the box. Out of the cabinet. Put that there. 
Hold on there. Should be able to carry two doors, but I don't have enough wood right now. But so one door. I need a few more. That is one. They are useful as well, because we'll get some metal on them barricades to make sure they don't come through. This is door number one. On there. Upgrade. Can we make door number two now? Yes, we can. So that's been made. I'm going to go upstairs. Go and grab any more ammo that's up here. 12 gauge. There must be a shotgun around here somewhere. All right. Uh, forward slash door, forward slash base, slash open. I forgot what they bloody. Where is the protocols in there? Uh, no. 4928. So we'll do that again. Forward slash door, forward slash base door, forward slash open. 4928. Right, it's unlocked. Let's go to control. And we open the door. I don't think there's any more ammo up here. But there is some iron or whatever that is. Oh, there is some more ammo up here. Right, I should leave the rest. I don't know if where to get a shotgun or anything from. Because obviously once I uh, got annoyed with the game, I turned it off and didn't turn it back on again. Uh, we got gunpowder lying around. We got some more metal. I believe we'll be able to make another door. If I haven't already. And then we'll upgrade this one. I think I can get that one done. And then I think the last one I'll be able to get to. No item has been crafted. So we'll uh, place this one. And I'm missing a metal grid. Can I make a metal grid? Not here, I can't. I think I can make one down on the uh, in the basement. I'm going to turn all these on just in case I forget. Let's see if we can make one. What do we need? Three metal wire, one iron. It's not copper wire, is it? Metal wire. How do I make metal wire? Can I can I make metal wire? That's the question. Oh, I got some metal wire there. Hmm. I wonder if there's some metal wire upstairs. Let's go check real quick. Metal wire. There's just some there. All right, back down to the basement. Let's make that metal grid. Insufficient items. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's it in there. Then click craft. All right, so we got another metal grid now. That is enough to get the last one upgraded. And can I sleep through the night? Else can I sleep till night? That is a question that we need to fucking find out. Right, with that being done, doors are barricaded and all that. I'm going to go check if I can sleep through the night. I'm going to save. And then I want to see if I can sleep till night time. These can be deleted. These are broken saves. Right. Hopefully this doesn't happen on me again. So save new slot. Let us sleep till. Let us sleep seven hours. Because then that's just before the thing awakens. So I'm pretty sure it starts at nine. I will start in this room. I right, should be coming in a few seconds. Hopefully almost there almost time now whenever you're ready you can stop laughing you mate right so it takes two magazines Please stop it, please. Stop. Thank you. I need to do these real quick. This one's done. I got one more. I believe. Shit me, I've got one more. I missed one. Why have I missed one? One there. I thought you were dead. Don't be coming in. Thumbnail.
Do you mind? All right, boys. I'm gonna have to leave you. Okay. Enjoy your time. I'm out. <laughs> Hopefully they all disappear. I burnt down the the gooey shit at the door. Nice. They all seem to have fallen asleep. Beautiful. Let's put my headset on charge. All right, charge you. All right. So this is these have been dealt with, and this guy had some ammo. It's how nice of him to bring me some ammunition. Right, let's go through these real quick and just get whatever loot we can off them. If it's if it's loot worthy. We now we've done that. Let's go get the key to move on to the next area. Which is here. I shall flick through this. Because I've already read this on another video. Time to move to the creepy tunnel. With the big weird face guy. I'll be back in a second. There's some weird things in this game. <laughs> right, we're here at the tunnel. And we're about to go see the big face in the wall. Yet again, it's telling me to open an invisible car. That was a fucking sick thumbnail. Put that back in your mouth, fella. I want to get that as a thumbnail. I don't give a fuck. Put it back in your mouth. <laughs> uh, let's get this fixed. Gas mask has been acquired. I guess mask shall go on the face. Right, it is now half past three. I think we go back to the base. We go get ourselves uh, rested, sleep through the night. Then what we do is we chug our way through the tunnels. I think that'd be the game plan. It shouldn't take me long to get to the gassy area. It's literally through that tunnel. And then we're gonna see if we can get past. If there is a fast, faster moving button, I would love to know. So if you do know what it is, uh, leave a leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is. Uh, there's some gas mask uh, filters down here. So we're going to go get those. And there's two there. Right, so we've got some extra filters. It does come with one. We're going to go and rest. Save, then rest. Which you don't like saving on top of these for some reason. So that is the early one. Now we rest. All right. We only have nine bullets spare after the six. We have enough food and water, so we should be able to manage going through this. This, I do not have any hopes on actually fucking stuff working properly in this game if it's, this has not been fixed. I shall take any gunpowder I find, because we're going to be able to make more ammo with that. And there's another, another gas filter there. Right. Okay, so... That's what happened to me last time. I thought it automatically equipped when I put the gas mask into the face, which technically should be working right now. And it should have a filter icon telling me that it's using it. However, I was unaware because I didn't see it in the tutorial. that like if I press G, it then equips the gas mask. But it doesn't tell me if the filters are being used still. So now I am moving on in the game so all of this is brand new to me so bear with me if you have played this before you probably already know where things are whereas right now for me this is all new okay so i don't know what's up here so we're gonna go in here first right we've got a green arrow should we follow that i want to take some more gunpowder though let's fix this real quick uh that way right, the lights are on again uh, there is nothing else in here. Oh, hello. It's just stop getting up, fella. Stay on the ground.
Right. There's one more. I know there's more than one, but you still get back up, bro, when I'm shooting you in the head. All right, hopefully that's the last time he, he gets up. Stable biomass. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's even worth it. Are you all going to just have... What, this, what is that? Crawler liver. There better be something important in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You got such a heavy footstep. As if you died like that. Oh, that's AO5. Oh, we got a few more bullets. Any more anywhere? Could do with some more. Yay, we got some more. I'll take the dynamite just in case. <laughs> I don't remember killing that one. Hmm. Okay, so we got we got through them. We can go through AO5 or we can go nowhere else. We'll go through here. I need to find somewhere where there's light. Engine room BO5. Hi. How do I guys, how do I get out? Where's the exit? Are you just... Alright, so exit maybe? Don't know if there's a handprint. Gas? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. I ain't going in there. I don't see an exit. There probably is an exit in there. I'm going dark. I need an exit. Need one, please. I need... I need one. Jeez. We can fix this. Mm. Alright, so what I'm guessing is then, if I go through that other tunnel, it should take me out. I don't know where the flipping exit is. My torch is gone. Fantastic. It's telling me to go this way, but like you can see, I can't see. Oh wait, I do have a torch. I have an idea. Shit, gas. Don't, did I take that gas? I took it off. Alright, so we'll heal. Because I made a minor mistake. How many filters have we got left? Ten. Let me equip some dynamite and throw this down there. Whoa. Where's the nade? How are you not dead, guys? I don't want to waste my ammo on you. I'm just going to come down there and slash you up. How many of you is left? Two. All right, not an issue. Not a issue. All right, if I can climb over without actually climbing... Weird things you make, I swear. Alright, so there's this this door here, but it's so dark. Not in them. I shall take them painkillers things. You probably can't even see. This is probably gonna get skipped. I'm only just managing to see where I'm going. There's a thing here. This is another one to do. There we go. 
Hey, we got a little bit more light. Let's go. And more ammo. I bet as soon as I get past these sections, I can't see again. So it's a downward go. Let's not use the good old ladder. We're just going to climb over. Like so. And it's dark. Right, that's to AO7. BO7's got a grate over it. Can't go that way. AO6 is also un inaccessible. I need to open AO AO7. That cable goes there. I don't know where I'm going. I could not tell you where I'm going. I'm just traveling. All right, so I need to go up again. That sounds nice outside. All right, good to know it's not in this fucking area. I need to find a way. You know what though? At least I'm managing to get into these areas where I wasn't before. So down these stairs now. I hate that barking sound, I don't know what that is. Right, I, fo I followed the green arrow, so let's have a look up here, see what this area is. Whatever it is that I need to pull the switch on, it could be up here, for all I know. However, the light's on. You are winding me up, game. I don't know what to do. I'm missing something somewhere. There's no switch. Right, up these stairs, through this door. Hmm. Listen, arrows, I'm following you. It's not taking me anywhere. Arrow says left, we go left. Arrow says down, we go down to AO5. Arrow says left. Arrow says up. <laughs> okay, so I found a switch in there. I don't know if it led to this one or not, but BO2 is... I don't know if it were open before, and I had to go back to AO2 to flick a switch. And I think maybe I'm now on the right path. I think. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm still confused because I don't remember if BO2 were open or not. I don't remember checking. No. Oh, BO2 might have already been opened. I don't want to rest, but I will save. And they've got a stockpile of stuff here. Oh, and a headset recharging thing. Let's go. I can actually put my fucking visor back on. I didn't know about this one. At least I'll be able to see a bit better. It's going to be nicer. If I rest, will it count towards the time for the recharge? We shall see. So I'm running around like an headless chicken, and I can guarantee you all them fucking enemies that I killed already is going to probably respawn. It does res it speeds it up. All right, I can see you properly now. All right, so let's go back through BO2. I've, I didn't know this were open. If this were op open before, and I'd have been fine. But I did open. I went back through there, opened up AO2, then went into AO2 to open a door by which another door which i think is for bo5 and i'm not sure if we came across that door and these are not respawned which is nice so the idea or the way we're supposed to go were ao5 bo4 bo3 so we'll go back through this which should take us to bo5 it's open which leads us to the engine room oh and, and these guys And I'm also getting beaten by this thing. Stop, 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 stop. How? Stop. Where's my gun? There's so many of you. Just stay down, please. Stop getting up. Right, I think... Oh, my God! <laughs> Don't creep around a corner like that, you fucking weird things. Die. Right, is that it? Is that all of you? Well, now we're going into CO2. Now that was a death trap. I did have 70 bullets. I managed to get more bullets and now it's all gone again. Right, do we go... Right, so the only way to go is up there. I want to try and save as much ammo. Actually, before we go up there... Because I don't know what's waiting. Let's get some health. Let's drink some water. I'm going to leave it as that for now. Oh, it's one of them lobster things. Great. Right, if I could just, just swing this thing. Thank you. Right, we can open AO7. I'd like another gun. I would appreciate another gun. Don't know what that is, but I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to go back through there and go through a AO7, wherever AO7 is. AO5, I thought you were alive then, dude. AO5's closed, that's AO6. So was this other tunnel that was up following these arrows, AO7? Why does it have to be so fucking confusing down here? Up the stairs, down here. Yeah, AO7's there. Watch, I have to come back through this eventually, watch. And then I have to figure it all out again. Right, we've gone through AO7. That's AO8, which is barred off. 
And then a big exit sign on the floor, which is good to see. Don't know what that is. Waste. <laughs> Did you know you just picked up a waste bin? It's fun times. Do you know what? It's even worse because it's the middle of the fucking night. I don't even know if there's going to be a safe place to hide out. It's still dark. I can barely see. All right, we don't have a lot happening around here. What's in this? Gunpowder and ammo. We take those. How many stairs? Search. Nothing. More ammo. Right, okay. Let's go up the next flat couple of flights of stairs. Okay, so where are we now? Do we have something I can turn the lights on with? Oh, where did the text go? To whom it may concern, my name is Elijah and I'm writing this in a hurry. I've just managed to escape from the info point and I need to share what I've seen. Over the past few days, a thick fog has descended upon the building. The fog isn't toxic, but it's definitely unusual. And ever since those soldiers set up camp nearby, things have gotten even stranger. I don't want to sound paranoid but in that camp the atmosphere seems to be kind of tense additionally there have been increasing the frequent sightings of animals completely devoured it's likely just a predator but it's unsettling nonetheless uh, it's good to know elijah suffered okay dokie then that's outside i am not going out there until it is daytime as i have no way of charging my headset right now that's now gone rest for six no rest for five drink some coffee it was stressful hmm okay welcome to the next part of the map i guess i have no clue what we're doing and i need to eat food again it's all this running around i tell you it's all this running around doing loops circles everywhere I'm going to go to that building first because it sticks out like a sore thumb. Can't search that. Oh, yeah, it's open. You stop howling in my ear and it's getting rather annoying. All right, let's go over there, see what's up there. See if there's any potential, like, indication on where to go and what to do. Because I have no idea. I don't have a clue. And I want to know. I need help. I would like to know. What is that on the roof? Is this potentially a defensive base? Don't know, but my FPS has just said, "Fuck, don't like this area." Just uh, disappeared. Seems like a defensive area. What the flipping heck are those? Great. I'm not here. I don't exist. I'm not sure if they're actually coming. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Get on the roof. The actual hell is this? These are dropping mines as well. Listen, guys. Listen. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. Can we just... Have two seconds to just chill out, yeah? Specimen Y Force 3C. It's got four pages. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an amorphous entity primarily observed emerging from growths within gas clouds. Its morphology lacks definitive form, but a signature feature is a large mouth that continuously emits a dense gas. The gas creates a thick cloud capable of blocking ultraviolet rays from the sun. Providing a protective environment from various infected entities, allowing them to move freely during daylight. Activity cycle, uh, the specimen emerges in areas where the infection is out of control, well, where human and infected DNA is mixed the most. It is present also during nighttime hours, but allows all the operations created by the V virus to move freely during the day. Interactions with the infected. Emitted gas appears to have a significant impact on the behavior of psychology of infected creatures these entities have drawn to the cloud and exhibit increased aggression and mobility within bound within its boundaries the gas seems to grant temporary immunity to uv induced damage a key feature in the specimen's influence right so the specimen is primarily present present in open spaces from a distance it can be identified by a large the large foggy hemisphere it creates around itself if one is sighted it can be deduced that inside it's inside the mouth that needs to be dis destroyed neutralization is necessary to enter the gas storm and locate the specimen's position once found it must be destroyed by any available means observations suggest that the gas emission is directly linked to the central mouth of the specimen disabling or destroying the mouth will significantly reduce the gas production once the mouth is successfully neutralized the gas cloud should begin to dissipate 
This will expose the infected entities to direct sunlight, restoring their vulnerability to UV rays and mitigating the threat they pose. The destruction of the mouse is hypothesized to be the critical point to end the specimen's influence. Okay, I haven't run one into one of them yet, so we're all good. As soon as I know that, go put a fucking grenade in its mouth. Simple, easy plan. Easy. We can make that work. They make them howling like dogs are so annoying. I just need to find... How did you die? One copper, which I have one. I don't have any more copper anyway, though. Them things are annoying. Oh, will you shut up? I'm trying to think about what my next fucking move is. All right. Just be quiet. Oh, where's your buddy? Right there. Oh, dearie me. It's a good job I'm not that far away, innit? Right, this is the wrong save. But anyway, it's gonna leave that episode there. I am gonna go to sleep. If you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed actually seeing me progress, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I will carry this on now. I'm obviously, I got over my little temper tantrum. We've made some progress, so hopefully, We'll get even further in the next video. So if you enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. Much love. I'll see you in the next one.